all right, here's my work in progress slash I kind of just threw this shit together 10 minutes ago. First Battalion, 9th Marines, 1967 impression. So, yeah. So I'm going to get this out of the way. Um, this is my Farby M16A1. It's a JG uh, airsoft gun. It's got an A2 flash hider. Um, wrong color on the upper and lower receiver. It's got a incorrect delta ring or slip ring. And the fire selector uh, markings are on here. And then there's a trap door uh, buttstock. But I just want to get it out of the way. I know it's incorrect. It's going to get replaced by a uh, uh, H&R XM16E1 whenever they restock. So it's uh, an original second pattern Colt magazine, pretty sweet. So we'll start off with the uh, uniform. Here's an 80s, eight point, same material, same look as the Vietnam ones. So no big deal. Um, 1968 dated skivvy shirt or undershirt for my dog tags from when I was in the Marine Corps. So I just kinda throw those on there. I haven't had it in any other video. Here's some Poplin third pattern jungle trousers. These are uh, repro because uh, originals are kind of pricey and I don't really find a lot that fit me. Here's a modern um, trouser belt. Personal items all on a towel. Uh, here's a repainted grenade. I know it's still incorrect with the spoon and it doesn't have that little piece on the bottom, but no big deal. Insect repellent with some water in there. Uh, modern cigarette case, modern watch, sea rat spoon, modern zippo, sea uh, ration toilet paper, church key with a P38 attached. Here are three Adventure Line uh, original magazines. These are from More Militaria. I don't think he sells them, or I think he sold out, um, which is really unfortunate. I was hoping to get more, but I'm sure I'll find some at like antique stores or something like that soon. Here's a second pattern, Repro, What Price Glory, Jungle Boots. These are these are really cool. Uh, I've worn these for work a little bit, a couple times, and they, I mean, I can't really complain at them. They're pretty comfortable, so. I picked these up right when they dropped, so I don't know if they still sell them anymore or anything. I haven't checked, so. But these are really, really good. Really well made. Here's my web gear. So M61 ammo pouches with more Adventure Line magazines in there. There's two more. Um, 1966 dated canteen, 65 dated canteen, 1945 jungle first aid, and then obviously I have my uh, pistol belt, my M61 pistol belt. I don't have any suspenders because, I don't know, I never used them, so I sold them, so. Here is a uh, 1945 dated canteen with a canteen cup, and this one's got somebody's name scratched in the side, which is really cool, and a Korean, door, Korean War dated um, canteen cover. Here's a, um, I think this is also Korean War dated. I can't remember. The uh, date's like really, really scratched up. Um, first aid pouch with a first aid. Jumping over here, I have my M16 bayonet with uh, reproduction bayonet with original scabbard. Um, whenever I was buying these at the time, Bayonets were really expensive and really hard to find for some reason. I think they still might be, but yeah, that's why I got a repro bayonet. Korean War dated haversack, Korean War dated e-tool, and I have a, uh, I just have a M51 uh, field jacket in there right now, just for filler. But yeah, so go over here. Here's my new helmet, because I found another one at antique store for fairly cheap so 1964 dated pretty minty cover korean war dated liner um more toilet paper and rubber inner tube band 
Lastly is my second pattern. 1980 dated. Second pattern, 55 flat. It's in all my videos, so. Yep, that's basically it. So, probably in a couple months I'm gonna come out with a third video about my Imperial Lake impression, because I'm gonna get an XM16E1, and I'm also buying C rations and changing a little bit of stuff, and that's probably gonna be it. After that, um, I'm planning on doing a 25th ID impression as well. Kind of like what my first video was, but a little different. So yeah, thanks for watching.